guys what is up welcome back to the channel family you already know what time it is gang gang we in this day make sure you hit that subscribe button to be a part of crew smash that like button to see what it do you guys okay so let's get into this reading for you this is going to be for my libras let's see what the energy is like what advice i can give you guys okay so let's see what's headed your way and get it shuffled up okay so right here with the contract card in the mail hold a heart is saying that right now whenever it comes to relationships with the contract card you might not know how to manage relationships so too well because with the envy card you be um having hidden jealousy that you have to deal with geared towards the person that you love with the mail hold a heart and with the hostilities card it causes you to sit back and create arguments in your relationship with the blossom abundance this went in reverse it makes things to where it doesn't work out and with the fourth chakra archangel Raphael, it's because you be having your heart open you be feeling vulnerable and with the sun card you be putting in too much work with this deceit card in terms of forgiving so you be working too hard you be overworking yourself whenever it comes to trying to forgive individuals whenever it comes to your uh relationships and love life and with that blossom abundance being in reverse it'll manifest situations to where you'll be holding on to these uh hidden jealous feelings so it's like this is something that you gotta work on letting go of jealousy geared towards your relationship because all it's gonna manifest is arguments and that's three and that's the number eight so this is something that you need to change and transform And then uh, we also have that action court and the yin and yang and the angel of love, okay? Saying that you needed to take action towards trying to balance out your feelings and emotions. Because with the community court and the angel of love and the happy family court, it's like you be sitting back. You don't like to, you don't receive a lot of love or support. And with the community court, it's like you be sitting back wanting you be wanting friendships around you. You be wanting relations around you. But it's like you don't receive a lot of love. And with the happy family card, it's difficult for you to get into committed relationships. It's difficult for you to stay in committed relationships. So it's like you'll end up by you being unbalanced in terms of the jealousy and the frustrations. It'll cause situations to where a person will sit back and withdraw love from you and want to just be friends with you. Because you need to take action towards balancing your life out. And that's five cards. So you'll, with that being the number five, you'll make a person want to free themselves from the energy that you're putting out. And then also we got the garden and the gate core and the caring connection core. So with this garden and the gate core, there's something that you going to end up being said with the second shock archangel area and the caring connection core and the storm warning. So you be going over the top and being over dramatic with the storm warning whenever it comes to your caring connection whenever it comes to who it is that you care for and then who it is that you intimately connect with so you guys are going to find yourself in situations to where you're going to have arguments right now to where you're going to be making things a little bit chaotic um and then also with the thinking woman card that's in reverse so yeah that's dealing with this right here so with that thinking woman card in reverse, you be causing negative situations because of you be sitting back overthinking things whenever it comes to your feelings and emotions, not knowing how to deal with them. And then it's saying it's not smart for you to sit back with that seven shock archangel Uriel. It's not smart for you to distance yourself because you're looking for appreciation with that woman holding a coin from somebody and with the fifth chakra archangel gabriel and saying that you have to be honest with yourself and this also let you know that this person is being honest and genuine in terms of showing appreciation for you and with this being five cards this is something that you do in terms of trying to free yourself from it's like you guys feel like by distancing yourself it kind of like frees yourself from the situation and then at the same time, it's not smart for you to sit back and with this appreciation card and the woman on the coin, it's not smart for you to, it's not wise for you to sit back and, and make a situation chaotic because what you're looking for is appreciation and time from a person. And it'll end up, honestly, with this fifth chakra archangel Gabriel, it'll end up costing distance with the journey card. 
And that is, yeah, that's Fargo. And then you guys have the first chakra Archangel Michael, which is in reverse. Okay, so basically saying that whenever your relationship's unstable with the first chakra Archangel Michael, you try to make plans with the cornucopias. So it's like you be trying to make plans to make better choices and do what it is that you say. And with a man holding a coin, that one's in reverse. You're not always prosperous in doing so. So you'll have a tendency to procrastinate on... Um, on letting go of those emotions or trying to deal with it so it's like you'll say that that's what you're gonna do but then it whenever it comes down to it that's not what you end up doing you end up doing the exact opposite and that's the number six so this is something that you need to achieve balance in this is something that you need to learn how to balance out six. And that's the number 11. So this is something that you need to spiritually learn to do. And then that also equivalates to the number two. So this is something that you need to spiritually learn to do whenever it comes geared towards your relationships. Otherwise, you'll be um, manifesting this energy everywhere that you go whenever it comes to relationships. And then you'll be like, oh, why is it not working? But it's coming down to you're being the reason why it's not working but it's because you're so caught up in your feelings and emotions that you'll put that onto a person and make it seem like they're the ones that's not making it work when really it's something that you're internally dealing with whenever it comes to these feelings emotions and how you react and respond in your relationship also plays a part too all right so hopefully this helped you guys out for today comment like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next video peace out